I've got a question from Oliver. I have just finished my eight week block of easy strength and have seen great results. Um, my football bar bench, previous shoulder injury, weighted pull up, nice, and block pull have increased. I love the low volume approach that doesn't smash my body to pieces and allows me to pursue other hobbies with little interference. My question is in changing my deadlift variation. Being tall and having short arms, I am not built to deadlift. Uh, no, that would be the <laughs> that would be the, the the worst thing you could have. So my hat's off to you. My next variation will be either the trap bar deadlift or heavy Romanian deadlift. The trap bar seems to have gotten a lot of criticism online. Could you weigh on its use application for a recreational lifter that just wants to get stronger, ignoring high level uh, application? Um, and he finally adds this, and I appreciate this, Oliver. This is not an either or. I'm just interested. You know, um, yeah, I I don't know why the hate on the trap bar lately. And it doesn't, not everybody hates the trap bar. In fact, I know a lot of very good track coaches, track and field coaches uh, at Light Athletics um, that are using the trap bar for everybody. In fact, they're using this jumping, uh, it's kind of a jumping deadlift, you know, for the explosive work. Uh, do I like that? Yeah, I, I, you know, of course, I like the Olympic lifts because I always know where they finish. But I listen to smart people. And one of the things I'm getting from some of them is that, especially with our this generation of athletes we have, not a lot of them like to do the Olympic lifts because it hurts their wrists. Now, <laughs> back in my day, when you said that the Olympic lifts hurt your list, your wrist or elbows or shoulders, whatever it was, you would you'd be ridiculed, and people say, you know, you know, toughen up, Buttercup. That's not what they said, but it's pretty. It was a lot more clear than that. But so so I'm to the point now that you know. If you've got good reasons, you know, to not Olympic lift, don't Olympic lift. If doing high poles doesn't work in your program with a straight Olympic bar, that's fine. If you're tall and uh, deadlift, standard deadlifts don't work, I would love to see you try a snatch grip deadlift with your body proportions. Uh, I, I, that's more of a joke. I don't think it'd be good at all. Um, and the trap bar is there for you. Gosh, use the trap bar. Always remember, folks, these are just tools. These are tools in a toolkit. There's nothing morally morally superior about uh, a hammer and a nail than a drill and a screw. They both do the basic same jobs. Uh, you know, sometimes sometimes they can be interchangeable and sometimes they can't. That's actually a pretty good analogy because nails and screws both can fasten, but they have different they have different styles of doing it. But ultimately, if you're going to try to keep that wall, I don't, I don't know where I. Okay. You know, if you want to keep the wall on the frame, you either have to nail it there or screw it there. It doesn't matter. So and I got to stop this analogy now because I'm getting lost in it. Yeah, I I don't necessarily love trap bars, but only because it's another piece of equipment. So if you have, like in the situation I used to have where I had, was training 60 to 70 athletes at once, I moved just to kettlebells and the straight uh, Olympic bars. If I would have had more time there, over time, I might have invested in seven uh, trap bar, hex bars, whatever you call them, and be able to have one at every station. But for me, I already had the Olympic bar, so I didn't have to do a lot of extra work. They were there, they were good, you know, here we go. Uh, we did use one. I did use it for my taller athletes who came to town to train with me. Uh, famously, you know, I had a, a NFL player who was a, playing for the Packers at the time. He came and trained with us for a while. And the, the students kept telling me, why does he get to use, you know, the trap bar? And I always, you know, my thought was always this. Well, when you're 6'8", 315 pounds, you can use the trap bar. Uh, yeah, none of them ever got that big. Uh so yeah, there's great value in the trap bar. There's great value in the straight bar. There's great value in dumbbells and kettlebells in practically everything. Um, so yeah, I, I like it. And for those who don't like it, I also understand why they say it. It's really important for a lot of people in the industry to, to, to stand apart. You know, it is their, uh, 
you know, it's the mark, you know, it's like uh, I have a car and on the front of the car, there's this little symbol. And uh, the, on that car that's right there, it's got a different symbol in the front. And, you know, the team I cheer for maybe wears midnight blue and the team you cheer for wears the scarlet red. Um, you know, but I, and I, and I can see why it's important to, for us to differentiate ourselves from, okay, we're, we're not like them. We're better than them. But in truth, for most people, um, you know, the idea if we can just get you to exercise, uh, go for a walk, eat some protein and veggies and drink water, you're going to be okay. Fun question. And thank you so much.